NFT gas fees are out of control. The gas fees can often be multiple times more than the actual NFT that you're trying to buy, especially if you're minting a popular NFT and dealing with gas wars. So how do you get your NFT buying fixed without paying these crazy gas fees? The answer is to step away from the Ethereum blockchain and try and find another way to buy NFTs. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to use Polygon to buy NFTs directly on OpenSea without gas fees, or at least with extremely minimal gas fees. I'll be explaining what Polygon is, the pros and the cons, and I'll be showing you some great NFT projects that you can buy with Polygon directly on OpenSea, so it's extremely easy. I'm Devon Cook, let's buy some gas-free NFTs, and welcome back to Dev Money. And a quick shout out to Asrith Reddy, he DM'd me on Instagram, wanted to know more about Polygon, and asked if I would make a video about it, so here I am, I hope you enjoy. Now for those of you watching who may not be so familiar with gas fees and what that all means, gas fees are just the fees that you pay to the miners of a blockchain chain so that your transaction, whether it's crypto or an NFT transaction, will go through and be processed. Every single crypto transaction, and that includes NFT transactions, has to be verified on a blockchain. And the miners are the ones who do that. And it takes energy and resources to verify transactions. And that's what the gas fees do. They compensate the miners for their energy, for their resources, and because most people don't do things for free. And you can think of a gas fee just like a transaction fee. You may have experienced transaction fees when trying to book a restaurant or a hotel hotel or a resort or something like that. And sometimes these gas fees can be ridiculously overpriced. As an example, imagine going to the store and trying to buy, say, a $200 pair of headphones. Maybe you're going to get some new AirPods. So you go to the store, you grab your new AirPods, you go to checkout, you swipe your card, and you pay the $200. But then when you look at the receipt, you realize that there was a $300 transaction fee tacked on top of the purchase price, which means that you now effectively paid $500 for these $200 headphones. And that's exactly what's happening when you're buying NFTs with Ethereum. You may be trying to buy or mint an NFT for say around 0.05 Ethereum. And with Ethereum being right around $4,700, you're gonna be spending about $235 on that NFT. But it's extremely easy and common for gas fees to be $100, $200, $300, or even more just for a single transaction. So you can end up spending double or even triple than what you anticipated spending on that particular NFT. And with gas wars that are caused from a ton of people trying to mint an NFT at the same time, especially the really popular ones, we can see gas prices reach even into the thousands of dollars per transaction. And at that point, I gotta wonder, is it even worth getting that particular NFT when it's gonna cost over a thousand dollars just to mint it. Depending on who you are and depending on how much you believe in that project, it may or may not be worth it to you. And that's where Polygon comes in because with Polygon, you can buy NFTs directly on OpenSea with minimal gas fees. And before you go crazy down in the comments, I know that Cardano and Solana are two other great options as well that have minimal gas fees. But I'll be discussing the benefits and drawbacks of Cardano and Solana NFTs in future videos, so make sure to subscribe so you stay notified. And I'm discussing Polygon in today's video because I wanna show you how to buy NFTs on OpenSea without gas fees. And currently you can't buy Cardano or Solana NFTs on OpenSea. And most people are probably familiar with buying NFTs on OpenSea versus using Cardano and Solana. So what is Polygon? Well, Polygon was founded back in 2017 in India and was originally called the Matic Network. And after the rebranding, Polygon retained the Matic cryptocurrency, which you can still see listed on sites like coinmarketplace.com or other exchanges that carry it. And Matic, the cryptocurrency, is the form of payment that's used on the Matic network. Now, Polygon is what's called a layer two solution that aims to improve the efficiency and speed of transactions on a blockchain, as well as reduce the cost and complexities of that transaction. And layer two solutions are third party protocols that integrate with a layer one blockchain. And all of this is to increase transactional throughput. Now, for you sitting in there wondering what that jumble of words even means, it means that Polygon can be added on top of the Ethereum blockchain as sort of an add-on layer that can be used to increase the amount of transactions that goes through and also reduce the cost of each of those transactions. Imagine that like this, maybe you have an older car that runs great, is extremely reliable, but really is just not the fastest car and you need a quicker way to get around. So you decide to get out your wrench, open up the hood and strap a supercharger onto that old vehicle. That's essentially what Polygon is doing. It's added on top of Ethereum to increase how fast it goes. So how does Polygon work? Well, Polygon is a multi-level platform and it aims to scale Ethereum 
Ethereum through the use of side chains. And all of these side chains aim to unclog the Ethereum network so that it's more efficient, it's cheaper, and it's much faster. And if you're not very familiar with what a side chain is, side chains are unique blockchains that are bound to the Ethereum blockchain. And they can be used to support decentralized finance or DeFi protocols within the Ethereum blockchain. And Polygon's main chain is a proof of stake side chain. And within this side chain, participants can stake their Matic tokens to validate transactions and vote on the network upgrades in the future. Now to put all of this into terms that are a lot easier to understand and to visualize, let's say that you have to build, say, a desk and you have to build a hundred or maybe even a thousand desks within the day. And the only tool you have in order to build all of these desks is a screwdriver. Now, I don't know about you, but using a screwdriver on each desk and building a thousand of them is going to take an extremely long time. And one of the ways that you can speed this up is by hiring more people and giving them a screwdriver to build these desks. But another way that you can speed this up is by using a drill. I don't know why that's so satisfying. Now, even though the platform that you're using is slightly different, in one situation you're using a screwdriver, and in another situation you're using a drill, both are using the same Phillips head bit to drive in those screws to build those desks. And that's what Polygon is doing. Polygon is seeing that Ethereum, the screwdriver, is already extremely useful, and it can already do a lot of things, but it does them kind of slowly. And so Polygon came in and said, hey, let's put a little bit more oomph behind this, and let's make it go a bit faster, while also reducing costs. So what are the pros and cons of using Polygon to buy NFTs? Well, one of the biggest cons is that it's not nearly as popular as Ethereum, which means that most developers will be building NFT projects for Ethereum and not with Polygon in mind, which is another big con. You're not gonna have as many projects available on the Polygon network as you do on Ethereum because it's not as popular. And another con is that Polygon does not have near the fan base that Ethereum has. Ethereum has been around for basically the same time as Polygon, but Ethereum has done a lot more to grab the attention and to grab the devotion of a lot of people in the crypto space. So those are the biggest things against Polygon right now, mainly just its lack of popularity, lack of projects and lack of fan base. But the pros of Polygon is number one, that it's way more efficient than just using Ethereum to buy your NFTs, which brings us to the second pro, which means you're gonna have extremely low gas fees, really around a couple cents per transaction. And the third pro going for Polygon right now is the potential for Coinbase NFT adoption. Now you've probably heard that Coinbase is coming out with an NFT marketplace this year. And since it's middle of November almost, we really only have six or seven weeks to see that come out. And there have been rumors that Coinbase may use Polygon as a primary means to transact with their NFT marketplace. And if this happens, this would be huge for the Polygon network. And I could honestly see this happening and here's why. Coinbase is already extremely popular. They have a lot of attention in the crypto space. And most people that are new to crypto or even have been in crypto for a long while are gonna use Coinbase to some degree. And so to me, it would make sense that Coinbase would try and grab as many of those users, those existing users as possible and bring them into the NFT space. And the best way to do that is by reducing transaction fees. That's what Robinhood did with stock trading. They made zero fee stock trades, which brought a lot of users onto their platform. So if Coinbase really wants to dominate in the NFT space and overtake OpenSea as the most dominant NFT marketplace, they're gonna need to do something different. And if they can entice their existing crypto users users to come buy NFTs with extremely low gas prices and extremely low transaction fees, that might just be enough to bring a ton of new participants into the NFT space, which will be huge for NFTs in general, but will also be massive for Polygon. Now only time will tell and we're gonna have to wait and see. Maybe I'm wrong, but I hope I'm not because I think it would be really cool to see Coinbase adopt Polygon for their NFT marketplace. So now let's walk through how you buy NFTs with Polygon on OpenSea. Well, first you're gonna need to make sure that you have your MetaMask wallet set up and that you have Ethereum within it. You can buy Ethereum on any popular crypto exchange like Coinbase or Binance and then send it over to your MetaMask wallet. And let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about how to do that. Now what you're going to do once you're on OpenSea and signed in and connected to your MetaMask, you're going to click on this little wallet button right here and you're going to see your wallet address and you're going to see all of your funds within your wallet. This is where you need to have Ethereum because now what you're going to do is you're going to click on these three little dots and you're going to hit bridge to Polygon. This is essentially 
gonna be like wrapping Ethereum, except you're bridging it to Polygon. You're just exchanging your Ethereum for Ethereum on Polygon. So you're just gonna enter the amount that you want to exchange and you're gonna hit convert tokens. Now you're gonna see a transaction pop up in MetaMask for you to either reject or approve. And you're gonna see an estimated gas fee that you're gonna have to pay to put your Ethereum on Polygon and then you can hit confirm or reject. And once you've converted some of your Ethereum onto Polygon, you can now come into OpenSea and find a Polygon NFT that you want to buy. One of the ways I like to do this is going over to stats, clicking on rankings, and this is where you can see the top NFTs. And you can sort them by chain. So I'm gonna click on the Polygon chain. And now you can see the most popular Polygon NFTs. I'm just gonna leave it at the last seven days. And we can see that the first most popular one is Zed Run. We have D-Race Horses, Amber Sword Badge. And you can just look through a bunch of these and see which ones you're interested in. And you can also browse the entire OpenSea marketplace to find an NFT on Polygon that you like. So say we really like Zed Run. Well, we can click on it. We can see that the floor price is 0 0.012. And you can see this little purple diamond. It means that the ETH is on Polygon, which is good because that's what we want. And if we want to buy this NFT, we just have to click on buy now. We can see it's 0 0.012 Ethereum or $57.39. We hit buy now. We're going to get this pop up right here and we can check this box to agree to the terms of service confirm checkout and we're gonna get this pop-up signature request. And this is just accepting their terms of service. Hit sign right there. And then once you've signed their terms of service, you clicked on buy now and you've accepted the transaction in your MetaMask, you're gonna see a processing window. And then when you go into your profile, you'll be able to see the NFT that you just purchased within your profile. So that's how you buy NFTs on Polygon. So that way you can minimize your gas fees or even eliminate them entirely. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what questions you have. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.